This is Nigeria. You want to know what's going on? With last, I will tell you now. What really are Nigerians looking out for in a presidential candidate to decide whether or not he is eligible for the biggest office in the land? What must they do to win the heart of the masses, come the electorate, to win a presidential election? This is our discussion today. Stay with me on this. Now, let's start with this video. Watch. If there's any Nigerian today, even uh, Arise TV knows that for sure. If there's any Nigerian, to, any Nigerian leader today that is most media friendly, it has to be Tinubu. Well, how can it? So therefore, media? I'm saying, wait, cool down, please. Okay, okay. I'm saying to you that your team, your team, has not demonstrated the required neutrality. Yeah, but it's not just. I'm coming. I am trying to make a point. Right. Your team has not demonstrated the required neutrality. What does that, that mean? And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm building a case okay. that will earn anybody the kind of confidence required to trust your judgment. I'm sorry to say. Are you talking about our eyes? Yes, our eyes too, our eyes news. And I'll put, it, I'll put it very aptly to you. So, no, no, please let me make right, that okay. I watched today a gentleman in your studio, a young man, Mufai. He was so angry. He was visibly angry. By us. He was and he started to chant some expressions that are actually unprintable, saying that what Bella Tumbu have done is, is, is nonsensical. How do you say that on TV and you expect that we will respect your medium? Well, to be honest, I, mean, I, I, I didn't hear what you I said. Think, so I, 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 I'll, I'll say it to you. So that. therefore, if your medium, Arise TV, harbors such vituperations against my principal and you turn around to say that we do not have respect for you then there's a problem and i'm saying to you that your conclusion of bola Tinubu is very very biased is personal unacceptable and not a reflection of the feeling of the nigerian people listen I you're, you're, say that. okay you're, you're entitled Thank to you. your your Thank own you. assessment Thank you. therefore no social media people, nobody on social media has criticized right. his actions. But, but a few people who choose to criticize him because they do not like him is a word of opposition. You said PDP said there is a disgrace. That is PDP. Right. That was a member of the media directorate of the APC Presidential Council, Biodun Ajiboye, giving reasons why his principal, the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, does not do local media rounds or debates. He was referring to Arise Television staff Rufai Oseni's reaction to Tinubu's outing at the Chatham House in the UK. Here is the video. Watch. I have a lot to say. Let's not deceive ourselves. What I saw at Chatham House was a joke. It felt like a scene from Ghani, Ghanaian comedia Shatabando. It's a big joke. Let's not deceive ourselves. We want a good country. I want people to state it. I get your point about delegation. What, what nonsensical delegation? When have you seen Rishi Suna call people to come and answer questions for him when he's debating the opposition leader at the Prime Minister's Question Time? Out of the 16 hostings, over 30 hostings they had, when did you see Rishi Sunak call another person to come and speak for him when he's supposed to address the people? It's time for us to call it speed is speed in this country. That was a disgrace on Nigeria as a country. That a presidential candidate went uh, to Chatham House, where he's supposed to expose his idea, and he's calling people to answer questions that were asked from him. Can't you see the way that journalist had to ask himself, sir, sir will you, is this how you're going to be calling people to answer questions for you? Where you are supposed to be the one speaking yourself. He called Nasir El Rufai. To speak on security. Has Nasir El Rufai been able to sort out this problem of insecurity in Kaduna State? Kaduna State. Eh? It was a bad call. Has he, has he, has has he been call. able to sort out his problem of insecurity? If there was an army general retired eh? in that gathering, you call called the the somebody to come and speak for him as regards the economy. Has the APC government not prevailed over an economy that has gone downward the drain? They promised over 27 million jobs, they can't give it. Third quarter 2020 now, we've not seen unemployment numbers. I dare the MBS to release statistics for unemployment numbers as we speak. I feel 
ashamed as a Nigerian. I've got nothing against any presidential candidate, but I am a Nigerian, and when a Nigerian presidential candidate should go and make us proud at a public gathering abroad, they should also remember that people like us are Nigerians. And anything they say about Nigerians overseas, it robs us of on our image. Well, Rufai. Rufai was only pouring out his frustration of the situation that happened in Chatham House involving a prospective Nigerian president. He said he felt ashamed to be called a Nigerian, going by the performance of Bola Ahmed Tinobu. Oseni Rufai, like many Nigerians, wasn't proud to see a presidential front runner delegating questions to his campaign team to answer, not as a president, but a prospective president. That wouldn't make sense to anybody. Also, Tinubu at Chatham House made a derogatory statement about the media houses in Nigeria. He said he didn't honor town hall meetings and debates by the local television stations in the country because they want to use him to make money. As Tinubu is not a friend of the press, judging by this comment, does that not spell doom for journalism in Nigeria if he becomes president and commander-in-chief in 2023? Here is a clip from Tinubu's outing at the Chatham's house, United Kingdom. Watch. Your Excellency, wonderful. The question I, I wanted to ask, you have touched on briefly. My name, first of all, is Valdez Stiluke Davis Kensington. I'm a Nigerian. You've touched on security, very important issue in Nigeria. But you've not told us how you're going to manage this. We'd like you to tell us how you will manage security in Nigeria. And second part of my question, there's loads of kidnapping of women and girls in Nigeria. Rape of our young children in Nigeria. Can you tell us, uh, Your Excellency, how this will be managed? Thank you. Uh, uh, let me warn uh, once I demonstrate here, one of those philosophers I wanted doctrine that I believe family in is teamship. Unbreakable team. To demonstrate that, I will choose the first question assigned to Dele Alake. Okay. And the second question assigned to Nasuru Erufai. My name is Priscilla Winkbo. Um, I'm a freelance and broadcast journalist. So you've spoken a great deal about what you've done in Lagos, and yes, we're very aware of it, and you're a team player because you're able to include everybody else, and we appreciate your team here today, and they're very capable, and we can see that they have the capacity and the capability. However, sir, you are running for president, and as Nigerians, we would very much like to hear from you because we believe the office of the president, if voted in, will be you and not your team per se. So on that note, sir, if I may, we haven't seen you engage with Nigerians on a one-to-one -one interview or at any of the live um, programs that has been going on. And furthermore, there are issues at the moment running with regards to your identity, with regards to your age. So I wonder if you could provide some clarity on the issues of, of your identity and age, and also let us know when we can engage with you one-on-one -on -one on an, in an interview, hear from you directly as the office holder. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, 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 Please, be quiet. Why? I see myself as a marketable individual. <laughs> Want to use me to make money, and I'm saying no. <laughs> Of course, the APC presidential candidate must be protected at all costs. What building at Jiboy defend Tinubu's Chatterdam House out in vehemently? Watch. No, no, no. The, in my view, no, no. In my view, what he has done is extremely innovative and I'm proud of him. No, if you say that that is an opinion and that that does not differ dramatically from the norm. Give me examples of 
anywhere, any president that you have seen, or president aspirant mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. presidential candidate who goes for an interview and you're asked questions or goes to an engagement where you're asked questions by journalists and the public and you call other people to come and answer okay so let me ask you i mean i, I asked you a straightforward question no, no, I want to answer can you me. give us an example of i want that? to answer you by my judgment what he has done is correct it's not criminal it's not Obviously, it is by I, your I am judgment. Coming, sir. nobody said anything I am about coming, criminal. sir unless i make my point you can't judge me right and you must allow me to okay. make my point by our judgment reasonable nigerians there is nothing wrong in what he has done it is not criminal it is not illegal it is evil and i'm trying to educate here that you don't know and i've seen that you don't know that it's an it's it's innovative leadership <laughs> he has shown he may, be the, first, have this he may be, he may be the first to start it but leaders must learn to build a team showcase their team and allow the team members to express their expertise and intelligence that is not if the time that is what we have done chatham house did not invite his team they invited bola Tinu. why did why did you well, not I, I advise did, chatham house to I, stop I, him I, I just told you that chatham house did not invite his team they invited him chatham and, house and was you, proud of him and you know that speculation chatham house was well, proud I, of I him. don't think you've read the comments from members of chatham house you know that if you have you you know, you, know that, you know that it is so bad that when Ashwagu speak speaks, they turn around the speech and say blah 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 blah. Yeah. So <laughs> if there is anything to take away from that video, that one thing is that Tinubu have his own style of doing things, different from the normal, which he has not committed any crime. Just like President Buhari's style of governance is about not talking to his citizenry. He rather enjoys getting his information about the happenings in the country through his aides and special advisors. They may choose to lie to him or even tell him the truth. It is entirely up to them. Same way, Tinubu is delegating crucial responsibilities to surrogates in the name of being a team player. All of these are in black and white, so you know what to expect from a Tinubu presidency. Finally, Tinubu has also informed all that care to listen that he will build on the legacies of President Buhari. What legacies are we talking about here? What human rights activist and lawyer Dele Farotimi give his own explanation of what he believes is the Buhari's legacy as president? Watch. General Buhari rolled out many nice sounding policies. He had a lot of promises in Nigeria back in 2015. General and Ashwajibola Metinubu was right next to him making those promises, as was His Excellency Atiku Abubakar. They all chose this man and they brought all their ideas together, wrote a manifesto, beautiful manifesto, and they gave it to Nigerians. The one thing we have learned, if we have not learned anything else, we have learned by now that the APC cannot be trusted to keep its word. So we have to look to their record to have an idea of what they are likely to do. A continuation of APC and its policies, which General, uh, which Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinubu himself has told you repeatedly, that is going to continue and build on the legacies of General Buhari. What we know is that poverty will be maintained and increased. Insecurity will be maintained and increased. The disparity in income will be maintained and increased. The ruling power, the ruling class would become richer, more powerful, more above the law, and the lot of the poor will become more excruciating. So, um, Ashwa Dibola Ahmed Inupu can say anything he cares to say. The fact is that neither the party nor the man has the credibility to make a dissection of what they have placed on the table, a worthwhile exercise. According to Dele, a sustenance of the legacies of this current government means that poverty will be maintained and increased. Insecurity will be maintained and increased. And also the class disparity between the rich and the poor will be maintained and increased. Some class of individuals will continue feeling they are above the law. Certainly, Nigerians will not subscribe to such a legacy.
Finally, we are gradually getting to know our candidates better. But most importantly, the date for PVC collection has been fixed to run from Monday, 12th December 2022 to 22nd January 2023. Please, go collect your PVC. We need every vote we can get to make Nigeria work again. It begins with you. It begins with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't you think you're forgetting something? Yes, the subscription button. Click on it right now.